Today we have an emergency. We have to do some sort of fish operation or surgery on her. Oh my god. Look at the bulge right oh there. Oh my god. So it'll be right here with her pectoral fin. Oh. She's gonna die if we don't do this, guys. All right, here we go. Joey Slam. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, guys? What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another state venture, and we're just checking on our pond right now, looking at everything. Look at Kitty. We have one of the amigos over there. We got Yeti, Bruce. The whole squad is chilling in the flow. I turned off the air compressor because it's really loud in here, but it's looking good, nice and clear. Let's see if anyone wants to come up to play. Oh yeah, they want to eat. But today's not feeding day, today's water change day. So we might be doing that again today. I might show you guys a little something, but or talk about it, I, I'm, not, I'm not really too sure. But today we have an emergency. We have a big problem going on in one of our tanks inside. Let me show you what's up. Take a look over here. If you look, we have Prada right here to the right. Then we have Louis all the way on the bottom. But we skipped this person right here. Look at Gucci. Gucci's looking nice and thin. But my main concern is this fish right here. Look at Kylie. Kylie's looking a little thick. If you get real close and look at the bottom belly, She's looking thick. Based on her condition, it could be a swim bladder issue or something intestinal. I don't. I also don't think it's gonna be parasites either. All these other fish would have parasites if that was the case. They all have the same diet, they all get fed the same amount, and they all look thin, except this one. I even changed the temperature, several water changes to see if something would change, but if you look right now, if you come really close, her eyes are popping out, and that is not good. Not good at all. And if you come on this side of the tank so you can show the slayers, go over there, Ali. Look at her, she is huge. Her stomach is not proportional to her body at all right now. She looks like this if she's eating. She hasn't eaten. I have done three feedings, a whole bunch of water changes, and she still hasn't eaten, and I'm very, very concerned. We have to do some sort of fish operation or surgery on her. I'm hoping it doesn't have to come to that. So our first course of action will be to contact my friend, Wild World of Farley. He has a small pool pond full of other catfish and constant flowing lake water. Those constant water changes help fish metabolize better, as well as these fish are from the Amazon and they live in rivers. There's constant flowing water and that's usually a lot better for fish instead of these tanks when it comes to raising your monster fish in here. Now, if I put this fish in the pond, I, it could get eaten. Kitty's huge. You saw Kitty. Kitty will get eaten. And if I contact catch him while fishing, all he has is monster fish. And even though he has constant flowing water as well, it just wouldn't work out. We're going to go ahead and get Kylie out of this tank right now, examine her, but safely transport her to Wild World of Farley. Alright guys, so got a big cooler for a big fish this time. I don't think she's this big. She's definitely smaller than Kendall. And oh yeah, guys, if you're wondering where Kendall is, Kendall's actually in the pond because Kendall tried to eat Gucci one time and that was enough. I didn't want that to happen. So Kendall's in the pond. Worry not, I'll show you guys later. But oh my God, here look, you have a better look at Kylie. Dude, like it's scary. It looks like it's Popeye, Dropsy. I'm not too sure, but definitely not pregnant. And the only way to relieve that pressure is if you grab a needle and strategically pop that swim bladder. So I'm gonna get this cooler all set up. I'm gonna grab just enough water for Kylie and scoop her in right now. So here we go, we got Kylie. Get her out as fast as possible. Look at that, safe and quick. She is so cute. Oh, Woo. easy, 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 lemon squeezy. All right, relax, chill out. So now that we have her here, um, we'll be able to take a better look at her at Wild World of Farley's. I don't want to, oh my God. That's exactly how she got her name Carly by just beating her face into tanks and stuff when she was smaller. But yeah, Oosh. All right, let's not mess around. I'll see you at Wild World of Farley's. Just in case you guys were wondering, that is Kendall right there. That's my heater, that's my pump, that's Kendall hiding right there. She's doing great. She's gonna grow up and be Amazing Tiger Showman on some catfish. <laughs> so much time walking from my house to Wild World of Forest. What's now, up, my brother? What's going on, my brother? Where you be? So, guys, we're here at the Wild World of Farley's. That's a wall. Watch out, Ollie. Like I was saying, guys, we're here and we're trying to make light of the situation. It's been, it's been rough. Farley is a doctor of medicine. He is a pharmacist. 
So what I'm hoping is Farley could figure something out. Who knows? Maybe I'll just put a little special pill in there. Maybe so know. A probiotic to let all that poop come out. Catfish Kingdom's dirty anyway, so if it explodes in there because of laxative, you won't even notice. Yeah, it'll be good. So he has constant flowing water. As you can see, water's coming from his big pond, which is to the right I'm of the beer. All the way into here. Catfish Kingdom. And then he has two outflows right here that are constantly moving. And he has a beautiful lake behind us that is full of nutrients that secret guys i actually grab a lot of my personal water from my water changes he steals some of the water <laughs> <laughs> i take it from his lake which is really healthy because he has monster fish constantly growing in here so obviously the lake is good so we got enough room see this is how big i want my tiger showing up to get come on this that's side right nice. here that's kylie's daddy right there bruce jenner that's bruce, <laughs> that's bruce jenner <laughs> don't know if it's male don't know if it's female no oh, idea <laughs> But anyways, guys, so I'm hoping that the constant water changes, the flowing water, she can metabolize whatever's going on yeah. and it just comes out and you're here. This is the best option for her in comparison to just keeping her in a tank, moving her to like a 30 gallon tank and trying to treat her with chemicals and stuff. True. I like everything as natural as possible. So there's enough room here in Catfish Kingdom. It's a pool pond. It's obviously a lot bigger than my 150 gallon aquarium. Sure. Come check it out. Let me move this out. All right, we're good. Here is Kylie right Whoa. here. Pretty big girl. It's a big girl, so I'm not worried about anything happening to Kylie. Oh my God. Look at the bulge right oh there. Oh my God. She has a bulge, big old bulge. The real prognosis has to be a swim bladder issue, like dropsy or something. And like, yeah. she looks like she's getting Popeye. Like I've been saying the whole video, that this constant flowing water saves my fish before we actually have to do an operation on it. Okay, I don't, don't want to do an operation. I don't. I got but gloves, I got knives, I'm good to go. He's got every, nice. All right, so what are you saying? Needles, needles, <laughs> not, not, not knives. He's a, he's a doc. I don't know what kind of doctor you are doing all that type of stuff. Anyways, guys, so we're going to try to acclimate her. It's about the same. Would you say it's about the same, Farley? Wait, wait, wait. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. It's very similar. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So we'll be able to just kind of just casually put her in there safely. Oh man, dude. I really don't want anything bad to happen to this fish. She should be fine. I hope she's gonna be okay. But guys, we do have to announce that this fish could die. All right, here you go. Come on, Kylie. You got this. Go, my girl. Welcome to Catfish Kingdom! <laughs> Catfish Kingdom! Catfish Kingdom! It's like the Black Panther or yeah, something, yeah. right? <laughs> Wakanda forever! All right, guys, so operation try to save my fish is complete. This is phase one, where we add her to constant flowing water. Look, they're about to battle. I'm just joking, they're not about to battle. It'll be crazy. It's just, look, it's Kylie meeting her dad, Bruce, again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hopefully that tiger shovel nose doesn't get hungry enough yeah. to possibly throw oh, that no, thing no, no, down no. its throat. I don't think so. I don't know, catfish? Tiger shovelnose apparently are really, really tasty. People in yeah. South America love to eat it as well as all the fish that we've ever kept. It's usually the first fish to go if there's a size difference. Look, this oh, here. Is saying what's up to everybody? Yeah, come on this side, guys. Come over here real quick. Kylie's in the flow right now. So that's good. Like I was saying, guys, phase one is complete. Phase two, which I hope is just us picking up the fish and bringing it back home. If we do have to execute phase two, that means Foley and I, or just me, we're gonna have to come pick up this fish and try to pop that swim bladder in the safest way possible. I just got a call from Wild World of Farley. He says there's an emergency with Kylie. What's up, bro? He's not doing well. She's not doing well? Not well at all. Oh my God. I have no idea what happened. She was flying yesterday. She was swimming around. This morning I saw her literally stuck on the vent. Dude, the situation has progressed. And unfortunately, the swim bladder yes, has expanded, expanded completely and has exploded. It's a balloon. Now, while all the fault has been taking care of Kylie, and this video is all one video because I wanted to see what would happen with Kylie, but it's actually been roughly about a week since we dropped her off last. She was fine. She was swimming around. She was having fun with other catfish. Dude, I never saw her eat, but she hasn't eaten in a while. She's breathing. Yeah. I feel I like if we correct her swim bladder, we might be able to figure something out because that's exactly what's happening. If I let go of her, she floats up right to the surface like this. Oh, and she has some sunburn to her. Oh, no. Gosh, oh, yeah. This is so bad. You said you have something that yes. could possibly vent? It's a needle. I have a needle. Don't Perfect. be used for aspiration, dude. Yeah. So look, we have a very blunt needle here. Yeah. Guys, I'm hoping for the best. Um, 
We're gonna try to vent her like we would vent a snapper if we brought her up to the surface too early. I'm hoping for the best. She's looking rough, guys. And if this doesn't work out, we're, we might have to euthanize her correctly. And it could be the end of Kylie. Oh, yeah, um, I, think so. I hope not. So what we would have to do is we need to pop the swim bladder and let air come out. So... You want me to hold her? Or? Um, yeah, can you hold her a little bit so then I can try to do something? Here we go. Let's do it. So it will be right here with her pectoral fin. Squeeze. Look. I think we got it. I think it's going down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah. It's coming out. Oh, it reeks. Oh, it reeks. <coughs> <coughs> trying, guys. Squeezing it out. So it looks like she has fluid. Yeah. It's legit fluid right now. Look. Poor baby. Oh, poor baby. That's unfortunate. So, guys, unfortunately, after trying to release whatever fluids and air that were there, inside of Kylie. She didn't make it. She didn't make it, man. The situation progressed and unfortunately, that was it. That was it. Oh my gosh. So, we're gonna give her a proper burial here at the Wild World of Farley's. Bro, I couldn't thank you enough to try to um, save her and everything. It's just unfortunately, this point when I brought her over, the situation was already progressing, yeah. and now it's progressed to the max. And unfortunately, she didn't make it. She didn't make it. Uh, You'll never be forgotten, Kylie. You'll live through the channel. I loved you so much. Oh, uh, what a shame! Such a beautiful fish that unfortunately died. This happens to a lot of fish keepers where their fish randomly just get swim bladder. There's other ways to treat it. You add salt. You raise the temperature. I did all that prior to moving her here. And I thought by having constant water flow, more water changes, great, good, healthy lake water with all the nutrients you need that are beneficial for these fish to grow. Cause you see, look at, look at all this. Look at this right here. He's raised all these babies from small to big. So obviously Wild World probably has everything perfect. This is like, that was my last solution to bring it to someone, bring someone else into this situation. And unfortunately, she didn't make it. This is a sad one. Uh, Hopefully we can find a tiger shovel in the future. To, no one's gonna replace Kylie because of her attributes and everything. We still have Kendall in the big pond. So, all right. We'll see you in the next one.